Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm fixing to head out and do a ship shop. Before I do that though, I wanted to tell you about something that happened last night. So I have done at least one video that I can remember where I talked about strange things that have happened in this house since we moved in. And I wanted to tell you about what happened last night. There's other things that I keep forgetting to tell you about, but right now I'm just gonna tell you about last night because that's fresh in my memory. So I was asleep last night and I was dreaming that I was hearing knocking, but you know how sometimes you have those dreams where you hear something while you're sleeping, you think it's part of the, well, or it becomes part of the dream. And at some point you wake up and you realize that it's actually happening. Well, that's what happened. So I heard a knocking sound in my dream and I woke up and realized that it was real or either realized it was real and that woke me up. I don't know how, you know, what order that was in, but once I woke up and realized that it was real, I laid there for a second and I listened and this is what I heard. Same amount of knockings, same exact rhythm. I heard this at least four or five times. On the about fourth time, maybe the third time, Eric wakes up and I hear him move around and look up. And I turn over and I look at him and it happens again. And he says, did you hear that? And I said, yeah, I've been hearing it. So like I said, this has happened at least four or five times that I was awake for, that I knew it was really happening. And there wasn't, wasn't much time in between the knocking sound. So, you know, it, it, it didn't take long for me to know how, anyway, I'm getting off. Um, so once he realizes that it's a knocking sound, he gets up. As soon as he sits up in the bed, it stops and it doesn't happen anymore. Of course, Eric being Eric, he thinks that it's someone knocking on the door or something like that. He asked me where I thought it was coming from. Sounded sort of like the back end of the house, but it also kind of sounded like it was coming from the corner of our bedroom, just like the rustling of the papers I was talking about in another one of the videos I was talking about this. So he gets up, he grabs his weapons because he does keep weapons and he goes storming through the house turning on all the lights looking around and goes outside the back door walks all the way around the house there's nobody there nobody inside the house nobody outside the house and this was fast because he wants to catch someone if somebody's in here trying to do something he wants to catch them so he's fast he's in he's out and he's looking he comes back in nobody in the house so i'm laying there i'm wondering what time it is wondering what the heck is going on. He comes back in and he tells me it's three o'clock in the morning. Who the hell is knocking on our windows at three o'clock in the morning? That's what he's thinking. He's thinking that someone was knocking on the back window, Gage's room. Gage has been out of town, not out of town. Well, yeah, sort of actually. He's been staying with his, uh, his cousin for the last week. So Eric thinks that someone was knocking on that back window um, he thinks that maybe whoever lived before lived here before had you know, random nighttime visitors, if you get my drift. But this is my thing. It was a perfect, perfectly timed, consistent rhythm and pattern. It wasn't like when someone knocks on the door and they do a couple and then they might get louder with it and then they might use something. It wasn't like that. Each time it was the same amount of knocks at the same um, um, loudness and there seemed to be the exact same amount of time in between each so it was like a rhythmic thing like I could I could uh, depend on it to sound exactly the same at the same intervals you know what I'm saying and it continued to happen as we lay there until Eric set up in bed as soon as he set up in bed stopped didn't hear it anymore for the rest of the night. And he ended up staying up and staying in the living room with the TV on because he wanted to make sure that nobody was trying to come in the house or whatever. When he told me, first of all, it creeped me the F out, of course, hearing random knocking that I feel like is coming from the corner of our bedroom or maybe up in the attic. I've talked about how I hear things in the attic. I've come to believe that there must be some kind of animal living up there because even after this happened last night and once Eric was out in the living room, I kept waking up because I was hearing shuffling or something like that that sounded like it was coming from the attic. Uh, so yeah, it creeped me out to hear this strange knocking. It wasn't like someone knocking on the door to try to get your attention. It just, it was strange, okay? And then 
when he tells me that it's three o'clock in the morning. And this morning he told me that when he checked the time, it was three o'clock on the dot. And if you watch anything having to do with paranormal or anything like that, you know that they say to never be awake at three o'clock in the morning because that is the whatever hour they call it. That creeped me out. Like Eric is, he's the, the, the realist here and he's trying to tell me it was probably someone knocking on the window, expecting someone who used to live here to, to, to open the window or to come to the door or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's just weird. It's weird. I don't know what to say about it, but I did want to tell you guys about it. And, uh, I wanted to hear what you think. What do you think? Do you think it was someone knocking? And if so, how did they get out of our yard so fast? We have a fence around our yard, front and back all the way around fence around our yard. I feel like we would have heard them walking around in the yard because we've heard walking in the yard before. And why would they go to the back window? I mean, the back window is the one that looks like a bedroom window. I don't know. It was just strange. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to take care of this delivery, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.